Hello friends, welcome to the one shot revision series by Learnzilla. In today's video, we are going to learn all the important diagram based questions. This is exclusively for class 10 ICSE biology students. Let's get started. So this is one of the important uh, questions from the chapter absorption by roots. The diagram given below represents a plant cell after being placed in a strong sugar solution. Study the diagram and answer the questions that follow. Strong sugar solution means a hypertonic solution in which the cell has been plant cell has been placed. By looking at it we can make out it is a plant cell and the condition what is the state of the cell shown in the diagram. The state of the cell shown in the diagram is a plasmolyzed cell. Plasmolyzed cell. The cell has been plasmolyzed. Okay, the plasma membrane is completely the cell is shrunk and the plasma membrane is over here. Okay, uh, the reason is the hypertonic solution has entered the cell. Okay, and water. Uh, sorry the constant hype this is the hypertonic solution that means water has been removed or taken out of the cell water has escaped from the cell into the surrounding solution this cell was placed in a hypertonic solution so water has been completely removed from the cell leading to plasmolysis name the structure that acts as a selectively permeable membrane we know it is cell membrane or plasma membrane cell or plasma membrane acts as a selectively permeable membrane whereas the cell wall is freely permeable the cell wall is freely permeable cell membrane is a selectively permeable membrane label the parts uh, numbered 1 to 4 in the diagram so the outermost is cell wall which is freely permeable cell wall is freely permeable and this is the hypertonic solution within the cell around the plasma membrane we have the hypertonic solution and uh, number 3 is plasma membrane and number 4 is nothing but the nucleus right how can the above cell be brought back to its original condition mention the scientific term for the recovery of the cell so by placing see since we have kept it in hypertonic so, uh, solution the cell has undergone plasmolysis to bring it back to normal condition we need to place it in place the cell in hypotonic solution or just pure water so that deplasmolysis will take place ok deplasmolysis will take place and the cell will be brought back to its original or normal condition state any two features of the above plant cell which is not present in animal cell simple differentiate plants and an animal cell based on any two features we know that cell wall is absent and chloroplast is also absent right in animal cells these are present in plant cells are absent in animal cells which is not present in animal cells they are asking so we have to find out what is present in plant cell that is absent in animal cell so cell wall and chloroplast are absent in animal cells so there are many important terms uh, in absorption by uh, roots chapter especially with regards to three types of solution hypertonic hypotonic and uh, uh, isotonic solutions and what happens plasmolysis desplasmolysis 
this is due to turgidity and flaccidity so all these important terms will be uh, covered uh, in this video or a separate video on tonicity will be uh, available for you so please check the video on tonicity to learn more about the uh, different types of solutions The next question is the figure given alongside shows the epidermal cells of an onion bulb. This cell was then transferred to a drop of sugar solution. So we uh, remove a cell from the onion bulb and then we are placing it in the sugar solution. Sugar solution is a hypertonic solution. Strong sugar solution is hypertonic solution. So when you place the uh, uh, normal cell in a sugar solution or hypertonic solution, the hypertonic solution escapes through the uh, cell wall and then enters into the cell pushing the plasma membrane further inside and inside that is because loss of water from the cell okay this condition is called as plasmolysis so when you draw the diagram you if you have to draw a well labeled diagram okay so this is how a plasmolyzed cell will look like. So what scientific term is used for the changes as uh, shown below uh, or oh sorry as shown in the above it is plasmolysis. What should be done to restore the cell back to its original condition? Just like the previous question, we are going to place it in hypotonic solution. Place in hypotonic solution or pure water. This will revert to uh, a condition, the scientific term for the recovery of the cell which takes place in the above. When you place it in hypotonic solution, what is the process that is taking place? Deplasmolysis. Okay, the next question is define the term osmosis. Osmosis is nothing but a process in which the movement of water molecules from a region of higher concentration to that of a lower concentration. movement of water molecules from a region of higher concentration to a, uh, that of a lower concentration through a semi permeable membrane through a semi permeable membrane let us move on to the next question what is the technical term used for the state or condition of the cell given it is just the same right what we have seen we can see that this is the hypotonic uh, sorry hypertonic solution so cell is plasmolyzed 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 cell give the technical term for the solution in which it was placed when does a gel uh, cell get uh, plasmolyzed when we place it in a hypertonic solution hypertonic solution name the parts numbered a to d a is nucleus b is chloroplast c is vacuole and d is hypertonic solution okay a is nucleus B is chloroplast as it is a plant cell and C is vacuole and D is hypertonic solution.
is the cell given plant cell or an animal cell give two reasons in support of your answer as evident from the diagram so the cell given is plant cell and the reason is there is a cell wall present chloroplast is uh, clearly seen in the cytoplasm and also centropla uh, centrosome is absent in fact three reasons we can uh, i can give you and you can pick any two reasons and write the cell is a plant cell how do you say it's a plant cell because cell wall and chloroplast are present what would you do to bring this back to its original condition this is a plasmolized cell so you need to bring it back to its original or normal condition how do you do it by placing it in hypotonic solution by placing in hypotonic solution you can revert it to its normal condition another interesting question uh, from absorption by roots a candidate in order to study the process of osmosis has taken three potato cubes and put them in three different beakers containing three different solutions three beakers three different solutions potato cubes are placed inside them after 24 hours in the first beaker the potato cube has increased in size in the second beaker the potato cube decreased in size and in the third beaker there was no change in the size of the potato cube the following diagram shows the result of the same experiment so whatever they have explained here it's shown diagrammatically as well now give the technical terms for the solutions used in beakers a b and c based on what happened we need to identify the type of solution or the nature of the solution okay so in the a1 the solution is hypotonic solution and in b hypertonic solution and in c it is isotonic solution how did we come to a conclusion that uh, this is isotonic because there is no change in the size of the potato cube because the concentration of the uh, solute or uh, the water the liquid outside and inside the cell are same that is called as isotonic whereas it is not the same here this is hypertonic means concentration of solutes in the surrounding liquid is more than the potato cube and uh, here this is hypotonic solution concentration of solutes is less than the concentration of solutes in the within the cell okay so in beaker c the size of the potato cube remains the same explain the reason in brief in beaker c the uh, concentration of water and solute is same in solution as the potato cube due to which no osmosis occurs and the size of potato cube remains the same write the specific feature of the cell sap of root hairs which helps in absorption of water see in generally uh, like any plant the root of the plant is within the soil right so what helps them or what is the specific feature of the cell sap of root hairs which helps in absorption of water so the concentration of cell sap is higher in the root hair cell or within the root hair cell as compared to the soil water endosmosis takes place facilitating absorption of water so what is osmosis we have already seen right movement of molecules from water molecules movement of water molecules from a region of higher concentration to lower concentration through a semi permeable membrane 
how does a cell wall and a cell membrane differ in their permeability cell wall is freely permeable whereas cell membrane is semi permeable or selectively permeable semi or selectively permeable uh, in the exam you need to uh, write clearly cell wall is freely permeable cell membrane is semi or selectively permeable thanks for watching this video and do like share and subscribe if you find this video useful to you and also share it for with your friends for whom it could be useful and do subscribe our channel for more such useful learning content please visit our website learnzilla.in where you can uh, practice online quizzes which have important mcqs for your class 10 icse biology exams chapter wise we have uploaded the uh, mcqs you can absolutely try it for free and do check the biology playlist for chapter wise important questions especially the diagram based questions also are being uploaded thank you children keep learning and stay blessed